Welcome back. Those who study history continue to find new life lessons that can be applied today. The early 1940s in America, during World War II, offer some of the greatest lessons that our history can teach us. This week, the Anoka County History Center opened a new exhibit that showcases how the county and the whole country united to propel us to victory. Here's Ben with more. As we pause this week to remember the 75th anniversary of the Pearl Harbor attack, the Anoka County History Center opened a new exhibit focused on World War II. The idea was that we wanted to look at what were people right here in this county doing. Yes, there were more than a thousand people who went to serve, 22 of them were women, from this county, but there were a lot more people who were left behind. And we wanted to look especially at the war through the lens of the people who were still here in Anoka County. What did they experience? There are so many great stories that you can experience by visiting this exhibit including a story that Vicki heard firsthand from an Anoka County resident who did his part for the war effort. One of my favorite ones is the milkweed. It's something that not a lot of people knew about, and I got to talk to a gentleman from Burns, uh, Waldo Lystico, who, as a kid, went out and he picked milkweed pods, and he said, oh, they got really good money for those. He got a big check. And he talked about remembering how he could see trucks lined up all down the street at Federal Cartridge waiting to unload their loads of milkweed. And he said, yeah, they were making life jackets and life preservers for them for the, for the troops that were on the Navy ships. So they knew exactly what was going on. And then he's telling me the story about how after the first couple of years, they'd cut the stalk off because they were somewhat processed where they were trying to extract the juice out of the milkweed stems and then use that as a substitute for rubber. While a lot of the exhibit focuses on those who stayed home and supported the war, there is one artifact that is the centerpiece for a story of a young man who was galvanized to fight for his country. When you first come in, you, you walk past this kind of a living room setting with this great radio, and we know that the young man whose picture as a CB is sitting on top of the radio, we know that that was his radio, and that's how his family found out about the war was they heard, you know, FDR's speech. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Anoka County was also home to several large manufacturing companies that made a big difference. Twin City Arsenal was just outside the county border, but they grabbed our president from Federal Cartridge and he was running both of those plants. Um, that produced 10% of all the small arms bullets fired during, by all of the soldiers in just, you know, in World War II. I mean, it's, it's amazing to think that one plant would provide that much. Northern Pump down in Fridley, huge, huge importance. They were building gun mounts for the Navy ships, and they were just doing amazing things with being able to do the precision machining required on these pieces and ship them out way ahead of schedule. Just amazing what was done here. The exhibit speaks to the common goal that our nation had during those desperate times. We as a nation came together and we didn't see our differences so much as we saw our commonalities or our con common enemy. We worked together, we saved fat, we saved rubber, we rationed our gas, we made sure we took care, we didn't put cuffs on the pants of our, our clothing that we were wearing because we could conserve fabric that way. You know, you went barefoot instead of wearing shoes and all these things that we did really brought us together as a nation and I, help, I think helped define who we became moving forward from that, but now we've kind of gotten away from that. We, we, we tend to look less at the common good and more at what's gonna benefit just me and mine. And I, it'd be nice to have people look at it and go, you know, look what we did when we all worked together. As you move through the exhibit, you read, see, and hear all of the different ways Anoka County residents contributed to victory in World War II. As you come to the end of the exhibit, you meet the reality that many met in those days. The last piece in this exhibit talks about reintegration into civilian life. We've got a Navy uniform that a young man was and married his bride in. We have that on display with her wedding dress. But what was fun was, you know, they're a young couple, they're just starting out, they didn't have a whole lot of money. So he very carefully picked all the gold braid off and removed all the gold braid and replaced the buttons and his Dress Navy uniform became his best suit, and in the pocket, we found a ticket for a dance date in 1953. 
It has been 25 years since the Anoka County History Center featured an exhibit on World War II, but the lessons this part of history can teach us will never get old. We have so much we can learn from the history. There's so many things that we have done before and then we forget, so we have to reinvent how to do them over. History can teach incredible lessons. For North Metro TV News, Ben Hale reporting. The History Center has other exhibits to explore as well, including the next part of the story in the historical timeline, a look at the suburbanization of Anoka County after World War II until 1970. For more information on the Anoka County History Center, visit NorthMetroTV.com and click on News.